Pope Francis begins his first day as head of the Roman Catholic Church. And we go out on campus to get reactions. Humber News starts now. Hello, it's Wednesday, March 14th. Welcome to Humber News, coming to you from the Broadcast Center here at, at North Campus. I'm Shalo Adams, thanks for joining us. And I'm Amber Doherty. Ahead on our show, we have all your news and sports highlights as well as your five-day weather forecast. But first, our top story. It's Pope Francis' first day as the head of the Roman Catholic Church. He spent his first morning praying after taking a simple Vatican car to a Roman basilica dedicated to the Virgin Mary. He prayed there to an icon of the Madonna. He told people gathered at St. Peter's Square yesterday that he would pray to the Madonna that she may watch over all of Rome. This afternoon, he le led his inaugural mass for the Cardinals. Pope Francis also went to the hotel he's been staying at earlier today to pick up his luggage and insisted on paying his bill. He is also expected to visit the retired Pope Benedict in a few days' time. The media has been flooded with stories about the background and life story of the new Pope since his identity was revealed yesterday. The selection of the former Archbishop of Buenos Aires, Jorge Bergoglio, was a surprise to most observers. Stephen Donkers has this report on some reactions to the Church's first ever Pope Francis. Pope Francis is the first Judas Pope, as well as the first from Latin America. The new Pope is known for simple living. He rides a bus to work and wears ordinary priest robes. He's also known for his work with the poor. At Hummer College, reaction to the new Pope's election has gotten a mixed response. I think it's going to be definitely more of the same of what we've been seeing for the last hundred years of years. Uh, for what I've read so far, I think there's some promising elements and some elements that, you know, uh, I don't like. Len Thomas is Hummer's visiting chaplain, who says he's looking forward to seeing what happens next in the Catholic Church, with Pope Francis leading the way. It is a new exciting chapter. It's something that was unexpected until just recently. There does seem to be an opportunity now for uh, Catholic churches to uh, have center stage. While the reaction to the new Pope has gotten a mixed response here at Hummer and all over the world, the Catholic Church will move forward to deal with a variety of plaguing issues, including homosexuality, same-sex adoption, and abortion. Stephen Donkers, Humber News. China is congratulating the new Pope, but also warning he shouldn't get involved with religion in the country. A Chinese foreign ministry spokesperson said ties between the Vatican and Beijing will only improve once the Vatican severs relations with Taiwan. The spokesperson also said the Vatican must stop interfering in China's in internal affairs. China's government has been accused of suppressing religion under its communist rule. Xi Jinping officially became the new president of China today. Back at home, police have charged an elderly man in the death of 72-year-old Jocelyn Dixon late last night. Her body was found with obvious signs of injuries at a senior citizen's residence in the east end of Toronto on Lawrence near Pharmacy. Police say a 91-year-old woman was also assaulted and is in hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Police arrested 72-year-old Peter Brooks at the Wexford residence where all three people lived. He is due to appear in court this afternoon on charges of second-degree murder and aggravated assault. A 26-year-old police officer is dead after a crash in Guelph this morning. Police say Constable Jennifer Kovac was responding to a call when her cruiser crossed the median and collided with a, a city bus just after 12.30 a.m. Firefighters removed Kovac from her vehicle and she was taken to hospital where she was pronounced dead. The bus driver received minor injuries and there were no passengers on board. A nine-year-old Toronto girl may have saved her father's life this morning. The young girl called 911 after finding her father unconscious on the floor from a diabetic episode. This was the second time she's had to make that call. Dispatchers say she was very clear and detailed when speaking with them. The father is now in recovery. Toronto commuters saw the debut of the new streetcar this morning. The new streetcar took a maiden voyage from the Hillcrest facility at DuPont to Bathurst Street Station. The streetcars feature a lower floor, full air conditioning, more seating, and all-door do all boarding. The first of three new streetcars from Bombardier arrived last fall and will be transporting riders next year. 
The Daily Bread Food Bank's annual spring drive began today. The drive has three weeks to raise $200,000 and 100,000 pounds of donated food. Donations can be made online, over the phone, or you can drop off non-perishable food items at 191 New Toronto Street. The most requested items are baby food and formula, as well as canned and dry foods. The drive runs until April 6th. When we come back, we'll have more news from around the country and the world. Marco DeMeo will have your sports news, and Samantha Martin will have your weather forecast. Don't let the blue sky fool you. It's a cold one today. I'll tell you what the next five days has in store after the break. <laughs> 